working with an unemployed young man who came in to see me about access to some work quite a few years ago, um, we got talking about what his interests were and we talked about his experience in school and how that had not gone well. And he gave me a challenge to try and work out what did I think was his favourite subject in school. And I didn't get it right. And it actually ended up being that he loved drama. He was passionate about Shakespeare. And here he was, this young man, trying to get a job working in McDonald's. So I went, he went away and he obviously left a, a, you know, a lasting memory for me. And um, so I went away and I explored what possibilities and options there were. And so we set up a drama group here and we got 20 young people come. Well, I'd say inspirational. Lovely. Banter. Fun. Hallelujah. Probably just friendly. That's always the vibe I get. I feel like I can really be myself whenever I'm in this room or around the people that are from here. I've not been very self-confident, um, so I thought I love drama and if I join this maybe it will help me gain confidence. The reason I joined the Canada Youth Theatre in the first place is because I wanted to be involved in the drama group. But at the same time, I have a lot of struggles with uh, memory and various other things, so I needed a youth group to come to as well. And the Canada Youth Theatre has been amazing for both of those things. It's taught me a lot about drama, it's helped me develop my skill, and it's been really caring and helped me through some problems. I've been leading the Canley Youth Theatre Group for about three years now, and sometimes a young person will have the courage to come on their own, but they might be a very shy person, they might be someone who is not used to uh, speaking and having someone listen to them. They want to come here and get away, and they come through the door really timid and shy. That soon falls away and they stop sitting with their arms shut and they start coming in with stories that they want to share about what's, what's happened in their week. And they start to have a go at exercises, put their hand up and volunteering for things. And that's a really re rewarding thing. Whilst Jovan is leading on the drama performance aspect, I'm actually doing that behind the scenes kind of work, making sure that the things that are, you know, a looked after kid or transport to get to the session or um, linking in with family, with whatever the issues are, so that they can come and be part of that. And when they come into that room, everything else just falls away for them. That's really powerful. The reason why I kind of wanted to join was not only to help my own journey grow, but also so I could give the young people and older people a chance to expand their, creative, their creativity and their confidence within the performing arts so they can expand and grow as artists. The Belgrade has been running a range of outreach programmes for a number of years and we chose Canley as an area of Coventry that we wanted to focus on um, because it's a regeneration area of the city. So that means that it's an area that there's a lot of investment going into already, but by that it means that it's an area that needs investment and it also has quite low arts engagement. This project is investigating hope care and civic engagement amongst young adults and that's really important for the work that we do at the Belgrade Theatre and in particular for Coventry at the moment this is quite an exciting time to be exploring those themes. Coventry's putting together a bid for City of Culture for 2021 um, so we're in the process as a city of thinking about what it means to be engaged civically and, and what our hopes are, what we care about for our city. It's given me more confidence in my life and like being able to express what I'm good at and showing and showing it to people and basically making them happy for what I'm good at. So yeah, I care a lot about this group and since if I didn't move into care, I probably wouldn't have got this opportunity, ever thought of this opportunity because obviously I would have been in a different neighbourhood. 
now that I'm part of this theatre group, it's made me a better person because I view life in different ways. I can cope better in different situations. I think higher education has a responsibility to work with the young people in our communities. Institutions like Warwick, unless we make connections with small organisations, with other cultural organisations in the community, then our young people will not have access to things that, you know, let's be honest, that middle class and upper class families will have access to. It's also about um, making sure, again, that our students have an understanding of, of the type of environment that they, they're working in. So I think it's a kind of symbiotic relationship that you're trying to set up between the university giving access to students and local communities and local communities being able to be part of a, of a world that maybe seems alien to them. Uh, I'm studying sociology, I read a lot of books, theories, but uh, I think this experience, uh, it helps me to experience what the real society is like. You know, back in my home country, we don't usually participate with young ladies or young people. I mean, um, because I was a teacher, so most of the time I'll be giving them instruction what to do. But here, in this project particularly, I am participating, I am involved with the young people. So I, I, basically I'm doing, I'm doing things that they also do. These new approaches and new skills that I'm acquiring with this experience that we are having in the group, and also I can um, have a chance to become a better professional because I believe if we learn more, we can teach better. Canley is, is recognised as an area of low cultural participation. However, when we step back, for me, what is my, you know, heartwarming kind of ideal memory of, of first encountering the youth theatre was laughter. You know, that was the first thing that I heard when I walked into that space and, and met them properly for the first time. And, you know, they're all from different parts of Coventry. They're all from different parts of the city. They're from very different walks of life. They have very different narratives, lived experiences of hope, of care, of civic engagement. Seeing that mix of young people working together through this convivial sort of, you know, playful spirit of, of, of what youth theatre work can do gives me hope about what we can achieve with this type of work. Hope, care and civic engagement, they link very well because you hope that someone will care for you. Caring is about engaging with people, caring for them. And you hope that, you, that one day, that you hope for engaging with people, being <laughs> friends, <laughs> making friends, and just being together. <laughs>